Hello children. Today we are going to discuss about the new lesson sound. So what is meant by sound? Which is nothing but a vibration that travels through the air or another medium and can be heard when they reach a person's or animal's ear. So without the sound, without these vibrating uh, sounds, will you be able to hear anything around you? For example, uh, if two persons were talking, uh, if they were uh, not able to produce the sound by what they what they are talking, will they be, uh, will each of the person able to hear what the other person is saying? They cannot hear, right? So you can uh, observe many different types of sounds around you for example the sounds of birds or as the rotating fan and even uh, when uh, one person is listening to music from the TV so everywhere if you see you could see some kind of sound even the babies cry so everything is be as a sound and all these sounds are produced by some form of vibration and that sound tra and that vibration travels through the air or another medium that is how it reaches a person's or animal's ear. Now you understood what is meant by sound. So based on this uh, concept, we are going to discuss many different examples related to sound. Uh, if you are uh, there in the school, in case. Uh, so how do you come to know that a period is over in your school? So when a teacher is taking class and the session is over, how will you come to know? When the attender rings the bell, you will come to know that the period is over, right? That is how you will come to know. And how how come you come to hear that the bell has rung? It is because when they ring the bell with the uh, stick, what is happening? The vibration is being produced from that object and that vibration travels through the medium air and that is how it reaches your ear. So this is how the sound is produced and it travels through the medium air. Now you got it. And even you can uh, easily find out, you would have uh, listened to some sounds like when a person has come to your home, even you can take uh, your friend who has come to your home. How will you know that the person has reached your home? Either they will knock the door or uh, they will just ring the doorbell. So that is how you will identify. On the other hand, you may try to find, uh, you may observe that when someone is approaching your home just by hearing the footsteps itself. So by listening to the footsteps also, you can uh, understand that someone is approaching you or the someone is approaching or coming to your home, right? Even uh, you can take the example of hide and seek game. So when a person is blindfolded in the hide and seek game, he is uh, he has the responsibility to catch the remaining players. So how he will be able to guess which person is closer to her just by listening to the sound the person is producing near to her or uh, when the person moves here and there near to the blindfolded person this is how we will find the particular person will find out so it is all because of the sound and the sound plays a very vital role in our life so it helps us to communicate with one another now i'm taking class here so how can you hear that i'm talking how can you listen that uh, i'm talking here it is because the vibrations that comes from our vocal cords that trans uh, that helps to produce sound it is because of that we were able to produce sound when we were talking clear so we hear of many different varieties of sounds in our surroundings also even now uh, you can find out why the sound uh, is been uh, defining as a vibrating body if you have a sound system in your home or else if you have even you can uh, take your phone itself just play some music in your phone uh, phone randomly and while playing the music uh, just keep your finger on or your hand near to the speaker where the sound is being produced you will feel the vibration if you have the sound system in your home just place your hand near to the speaker you will find you will feel the vibration near the speaker so that's why we call it as the sound is produced by the vibration so based on this uh, we are going to discuss uh, many different examples um, for example uh, just consider this musical instruments uh, so here they have given uh, harmonium sitar flute tabla so many different musical instruments we have uh, around us right each and every musical instrument uh, differs in their music it is because of the uh, materials which we use in that particular uh, musical instrument uh, for example if you take a harmonium it may it play uh, you can play music or you can produce sound with the help of those uh, black and white keys and if you take a 
sitar with the help of the strings when you uh, when you str- uh, when you strike the strings the sound will be produced because of the vibrating strings in the sitar right but if you take an example of flute it is because of the air flow between the flute it produces sounds so each and every musical instrument differs in producing sounds and uh, you can by based by using a simple activity you can find out how uh, the sound is produced by a vibrating body so to do this example what are you going to do is uh, just take a frying pan or else you can take a metal plate which you have in your home and what you have to do is just hang it at a convenient place in such a way that the plate or the frying pan should not touch any wall so like that you have to tie like how they have shown in the picture and uh, strike it with a stick when once you strike it with a stick just touch the plate or the frying pan whatever you have used gently with your finger you will be able to feel the vibration in again what you have to do is again strike the plate with a stick and hold it tightly uh, together with your hands and immediately you have to observe whether you were able to hear the sound for in the first strike you have to observe gen- by gently touching with your finger whether you were able to feel the vibration and in the second strike you have to observe whether you were, uh, you have to hold the plate or else the frying pan and you have to observe this activity so try the simple activity and uh, let me know when we discuss in the class as well uh, you can uh, even find out in the school bell also when the school bell is not in use what will you feel you will not feel any sound even when you touch you will not feel any vibration but when the school bell is uh, when you bang the school bell with a stick and when it produces sound when you touch it you will feel the vibration so all these are nothing but the vibrating body so how a vibrating body produces sound regarding that you can do this activity even this uh, activity also you would have tried in your school itself uh, during your free time so just take a pencil box and stretch the rubber band like how they have shown in the picture and fix two pencils at uh, both the ends after that just uh, plug the rubber band like how they have shown and if you release it what will happen the rubber band starts to vibrate as well it produces some sound right and when it stops vibrating it will not produce any sound so these are some simple activities which you can do it in your home itself so i hope you understood this class let us meet in the next class children thank you